Good morning everybody, welcome to Recovery Lab TV. My name is Chris, I'm your coach and sports therapist and welcome to Tuesday's lower body strength session. Literally super excited to get this underway. Um, hope you like it. Let me know in the comment section below. This is your channel, so interact with me as much as you can. Uh, you're only going to get more out of the channel, okay? So if you've got any ideas on uh, videos that you want, that's going to help you for your training, whether you've got kind of any aches, pains, niggles, injuries, whatever, and you've got some specific needs, if I can make that video for you, then I will, okay? So let me know, and then that way you can watch it anytime, any place, anywhere in the world. That's the joys about this type of um, online community that we're building here, all right? So, hope you're having an amazing day so far. Hopefully you've got a um, bit of space around you. Um, you're gonna need some mats, you're gonna need some weights if you have them, if not, don't worry. Um, we can always do body weight exercises as well. Uh, if you have bands, grab your bands. If you have dumbbells, grab your dumbbells. If you have a bar, uh, grab your bar. Don't expect me to have a setup like this, but um, just get involved and hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I'll enjoy delivering it, okay? So, to begin with, what we're gonna do, you're gonna take a little step right here. Get that off. Gonna bring your hands either side of your shoulders, okay, and then right next and then line to your heel, okay? From there, you're gonna bend down. You're gonna slide it down, tap the floor, and shoot back up, okay? So it's sliding it down, tap the floor, shooting back up. Nice and steady, trying to keep that foot nice and straight, toes evenly separated. You can try and keep that forearm nice and straight. If you can't get down to the floor, don't worry. But try and keep that forearm nice and straight if you can. Okay, so it's a big deep breath. Drawing down, opening up those hips. Good, and swap sides. So, big draw up again. Okay, keeping this back knee down. Okay, I think nice, strong right angle. Bend and then slide down, tap. What you'll find is generally you've got one side tighter than the other, unfortunately, but. This is where you get to learn a little bit more about our bodies so I can help you correct it and get you strong. Good. Last one. Perfect. From there, you can add Come to the edges of your mat. Okay, you're gonna sit down just like so, opening up those knees, stretching out your groin. Okay, then you're gonna walk it forward. Gonna draw it down, keeping your feet off, uh, your knees off the floor. Coming back, sinking it down, just like so. Okay, this so is a big walk forward. Draw it down. Stretching out those hip flexors, walking it back. Just the last one. So how are you all feeling after yesterday's class? And what about you? It was a little, little achy in the back. Don't know whether it was a class or anything else I did yesterday. But uh, yeah, let me know in that comment section. Okay, so from there, what you're gonna do is start this side first. Okay, it is knee to toe. Okay, sink in, nice little triangle. Nice little triangle. Hands behind, stretching out. It's gonna stretch out that chest from yesterday. Those shoulders from yesterday and then draw down. And it's gonna open up those hips. Stretch out those quads. Okay, got a casual stone in my hand. Rolling there. Good. Ta -da. Another thing I'm really excited about is tonight's swift session. If you're into triathlon or cycling or just want to get fitter and you're on swift, don't forget to add myself, Christopher Hill, 
arm swift so I can add you back and then invite you to these meetups. It's going to help your performance each and every week. We're going to push each and every week. We're going to get a little faster, a little fitter. Good, last one. Perfect. Okay, so exercise number one, you are going to squat now. Variations to squats, so you're either going to go across here, you're going to come down and drive up. You're going to use a band, stick it underneath your feet, hold it here and aim for your elbows and drive up. Or, like me, you're going to use a bar. Dumbbell you can hold if it's a heavy one in between. You can hold a kettlebell there, hold a kettlebell up here. You can hold two dumbbells here or two dumbbells there, okay? Now naturally, if you're going into a rack, you would always face this way, but purely because I'm on camera and the camera's that way, then I'm gonna face up this way, okay? But usually you'd always face into the hooks, all right? So just be aware of that. So, grabbing your weight or getting your space ready. Getting ready, going in three, two, one, and go. Deep as you can. Big driver up. knees driven out. Good, keep it up, one more. Perfect, walk it back and you're gently going to come down to the floor, going to grab yourself a seat. Okay, from there you are going to Stretch one leg out, draw back in, stretch the other leg out, draw back in, draw both down, draw back in. Now you're squeezing your lower back into the floor, okay? So one, then the other, then both. Take your time if you get lightheaded. Then we go again. Grab your weights, grab your bands, grab your body. Coming down deep as you can. Okay, let's go. Remember, keeping that chest up, hips back first, knees driven out. When it gets up, nice 90. Big drive in, squeeze your bow at the top. position, lifting up the leg, keeping it at the right angle, working those hips. One more. 
Good, swap the sides. Good, one more. Good, check you coming out. Again, get them ready. Underneath that bar. Or whatever weight you're grabbing. On it, three, two, one, and go deep as you can. placing one hand out to the side, both feet off the floor, toes tucked up, head nice and neutral, lifting up as tall as you can, driving out with a heel as you're pushing up. Good, two more. Last one. Good, swap this side. Whew. How are we all doing, guys? We okay? Let me know. Get a breather after this one. Big drive up. Keep both feet tucked up. Both legs straight facing in front of you. Don't want any rotation whatsoever. That's it. Great effort. Two more. Last one. Great job, well done. Shake it out. Let me know how you're doing in that comment section. Done great guys. Really, really good, okay? So keep it up, keep it going. All right, this next one, okay? Chuck in your weights to the floor, okay? You're gonna have your feet facing forward directly underneath your hips. It's super important that you have that, okay? Um, that way, you're much more likely to engage your posterior chain, okay? You're keeping your shins straight, you drive up, and through, so you're thinking hinge back, hinge forward, okay? Now, depending on your current level of ability, you will either be starting from the top, sliding it down your leg to your knees and shooting up, or you'll be going all the way down to the floor, just like so, right there, and back up, okay? So, gently getting ready, going in three, two, one, proud chest, bum back, hips back, shins straight, and then a big drive forward, squeeze up, bum at the top. Keeping the neck nice and neutral. Good. 
Good. Keep going. One more. Good, Jenny. Putting your weights down, keeping your back straight. Now from there, chucking that out of the way, what I'm going to do is grab a seat on the floor. Gonna lift up one leg in a nice right angle. Lower back is glued to the floor, okay? Elbows glued to the floor. Driving up, okay? Making a straight line from your shoulder all the way to this knee that is on the floor, okay? Getting ready, going in three, two, one, and go. Big drive. One more, swap legs, right angle, big drive, let's go. Couple more. Last one. Good. Well done. Shake it out. Let me know how you're doing. Hamstrings, hips, glutes. Should be well worked. Okay. Big deep breaths. Taking your time. Grab a second. Big deep breaths. All right. How are we getting on, guys? You okay. Doing good, you got two more rounds, right? So big deep breaths, two more rounds. Now, unlike the squat, make sure those feet are narrow again, okay? So feet directly underneath the hips, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, okay? Gently coming down. Going in three, two, separating those toes, one. Let's go, hips back, shin straight, back straight, Big draw through. That's it, keep it up, keep it going. Good. Jenny, check me down. Coming down to the floor, nice and steadily. Hips as close to your heels as you can. Remember, right leg up first. Going in three, two, one. Big drive, let's go. Good, swap legs, same again. Good, shake it up, nice and easy. Gently coming up. Take your time if you get lightheaded. Big deep breaths. One more round, okay? 
Nice and steady. Ooh, how are we feeling? We okay? <laughs> Doing amazing guys, honestly, really, really good, all right? Keep it up, keep it going. It's gonna be an amazing year ahead, I promise you. Okay, gonna do absolutely brilliant. You're gonna get stronger, I'm gonna get stronger. This channel is gonna grow. It's only gonna, it's only gonna be thanks to you guys supporting everything I do. So thank you, appreciate you, and uh, appreciate your time and effort, okay? Getting ready, okay, it's coming down. Nice and strong. Three, two, one, let's go. Two more. Brilliant effort. Carefully down. Grab a seat. Bum as close as you can to your heels. Lifting up nice and tall. Right leg first. Going to three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Two more. Good, well done, shake it out. Staying on the floor if you can. Grab a little space. What you're gonna do is slide one leg forward in a nice little right angle. You're gonna cut the heel on that leg. You're gonna slide this hand forward. Bring yourself down as deep as you can. Try to get that shoulder to the knee if you can. That's it, big deep breath. Good. That's it, gently swap the sides. Again, nice little right angle first, okay. Draw the leg back as much as you can. Coming down deep as possible. Good, from there, gently coming up, swapping the legs again, coming up back into that original position that we had our legs in. Okay, this time, trying to match up your outside elbow in line with your heel. Okay, inside elbow in line with your heel, both elbows in line with your shoulders. Keeping that foot as straight as you can, embracing that stretch. If you can't make it down to the floor, don't worry. You will get there. It'll just take a bit of time. Just 
just make sure you turn up to tomorrow's session where it's all about flexibility, yoga based movements, relaxing, a bit of meditation, a bit of mindfulness. Good, gently coming up, rotating around. Focus size. Remember, hands with the heel, bring it down that outside arm first, getting that elbow in line with the shoulder and the heel, and then coming down. Good. From there, gently coming up. What you're going to do is rotate around, feel that stretch in your upper back, outside of your glutes, into your IT band. Brilliant effort guys, coming down nice and gently, from there bring your feet together, draw it in nice and tall, nice and proud with the chest, draw those feet down to your groin, those knees down to the floor as best as you can, sitting up nice and tall. Hope you all enjoyed today's session, it's only a little taster of what's to come. Each session will get better and better the more you interact with it, the more you uh, let me know how you're getting on, how you're finding them, the more you're improving. I want to challenge you each and every class, each and every session where I want to teach you as much as I know, so I have to go off and learn more to come back and teach you more, okay? So thank you very much for your time, your effort, your patience, your kindness, your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow for our recovery session on uh, our Wellness Wednesdays. Have a lovely evening, take care. Hopefully I'll see you tonight if uh, you're into uh, cycling or triathlon and you wanna jump on Swift. Um, we posted up late last night uh, about all the details for that and most of you have already joined on, so thank you. I look forward to seeing you later. Take care, have an amazing day. I'll see you either tonight or tomorrow. Take care. Have a good one.